What's up guys, Connor Thrifts here, back with a brand new video. So we're going to Off The Truck Liquidations, which is basically a returns store, Amazon returns, kind of like pallet place. I heard it's two for a dollar today. Wonder it's Wonderful Wednesday, it says two for one dollar. Right there on the sign. So if you guys are in the Margate area, make sure you guys check it out. I'm definitely late, there's like probably 50 to 100 people in here. Let me see if I can show you guys some live finds, I have no clue. Two for a dollar. I did bring my gloves. I guarantee it's gonna be like 100% thick through already. Found this Disney Infinity 3.0 expansion. I've never seen this before, so I'm just gonna take a quick little look on eBay and see what it goes for. What is this? Extreme Stick Flint Roller Refill. What is this? Oh, Posty Notes. I need to find some lint rollers. I've seen them here before. It's easy to film in here though because there's no music, which is usually the biggest thing. What's this? Two Brothers. DVD action. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys saw me pick up like I think it was 65 DVDs here for a dollar each last week. All Disney, Marvel. Already got a ton of watchers on it. No sales yet on that stuff, but I did sell those earphones that I got here for six dollars and sold them for 75 each. Evergreen Terrence. I'll look it up. It's sealed though. It's only 50 cents. Candy Land First Aid 100 count. Also found some door stops. And then this yoga thing. That is not mine. I also have this glove now. Well, I had a glove. I have a second one, but I need to use my phone sometimes. I actually have a demo. Stamp postage labels. Heard of that. Straws. Oh, it's a sense. Grab it. Keep going. I'm probably gonna resell this. 19, oh, it's cracked. It's okay. Cracked, new with defense. 1994, pink glory. Looks like it's still sealed. These are for myself. I have no clue, I'm gonna open this later. Set of stainless steel straws. 50 cents. Two buckets for a trash. I need those for my room. Got a mosquito for me. I'm gonna see if this goes for anything before I buy it. I know that Disney sells everything, so first birthday, Mickey Mouse wall decoration. So like half of it's for me, half of it's to resell. And this is for myself. I love Star Wars, so got some Han Solo ice cube holders. If this is like real, then we're good on that piece. We got a Final Fantasy in the box. But it's only 50 cents. VTEC, Eno Pad, Hot Wheels, Spin Shots, Lionel, Fast Track. Lots of stuff in here though. Some bullshit right there. Some seeds. I think I, you guys saw those a little bit earlier. But yeah, this, this bin right here has been decent. Hopefully, this is authentic because a lot of these go for good money if they're. But like from this box, it looks like it is like the Apple box. 
I don't know how to explain it. It looks like this is like authentic. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got when I get home. I took a, I think I'm just gonna buy everything, not look anything up and see what my instinct finds where. You guys get what I mean? Like I'll show you guys almost every find later. I'm gonna go over it. Hey, how you doing? Good. Connor. Yo, what's up, man? How much, man? How you doing? Good. Well, I'll give you a handshake in a second. How you doing, man? Good, good. You late, buddy? I'm late. Were you here early? Um, yeah, I was here. Early. Yeah, I am late. But you know still found a lot of decent stuff. So yeah. two what for a dollar, you can't really. What do you want for? Anything in particular? Honestly, anything. Like fifty cents, you're buying it for fifty sure. cents. Oh. You sell it for ten dollars even. Yeah, yeah. Especially when you buy multiple things like that, like, when, like when, when you could bundle it up. Yeah, you gotta find the stuff that weighs nothing and sells yeah, for a good amount. I tell people, I said, hold up in your hand for 30 seconds, if it's still up there, you can sell it on eBay. So I was in Goodwill the other day, right? And they brought thing? out, for some strange reason, they brought out uh, seven, seven um, Hot Wheel cars still in the still in the blister patch, right? Yeah. And she had them in the red van. So my wife was in there hunting around, so I sat down with them. It's a 1986, they're 33 years old. Yeah. And I sold, I bought them for a dollar a piece. I sold the first one for $39. Damn. Like, like 10 minutes of putting it up, it was gone. All right, guys, so I made it home. I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I got. Oh, my God, Daisy, you're always in the camera. Can you move? You want to see what I got? Here. It's called Hot Wheels Spin Shots. Daisy, you are literally in the wrong place at the wrong time. Paid 50 cents for each of these items. Actually, the owner of the store counted up all my items and he's like, just give me 12 bucks. I actually don't even know how many items we got, but $12 for this whole bag of stuff is worth it in my books. Daisy, Daisy, you gotta move, man. We can't even, Daisy. Come here, come here, come here, buddy. There you go. You gonna sit like that? Yeah, is that good? All right, so first item, spin shocks. And it says, also available, it has like this other crap on the back. And it says, endurance pack, ages five plus. I have no clue what it's worth. All right, Daisy, I'm putting you down. You can't go on top of the coffee table. Next, you saw this in the video, Star Wars ice tray. So here's a Saint Basonia CD. So like I said, I just started grabbing stuff. These are stainless steel straws. These are for myself, so let's see what these things look like. Oh, it's coming out the bottom. They look very weird. Like, who buys straws to reuse? Usually, you just use a straw one time. I'm not sure, but for 50 cents? Oh, wow, it's like got this really cool... Uh, you guys see those, like, knives made in China? Or, like, the throwing knives and shit? So you just... It's a drinking straw. I'd, I don't know. There's eight of them. What the hell is this? Is there a cleaner for the straws? There's two cleaners in here. All right. So we have drinking straws, stainless steel drinking straws. I have no clue who thought of this. I've honestly never heard of it, but uh, probably someone in China and they're like, hey, we have extra metal laying around, let's make them drinking straws. I don't even know what this was, but I was like, maybe when I'm redoing some stuff in my house, it is a mini razor scraper. There you go, the Titan mini razor scraper. We got the Final Fantasy online. I'm gonna open it up though to see if any of it's sealed or if it's like, uh, it looks mainly like used in great condition. I don't know. I'll look that up. It's probably not worth anything, maybe like five bucks, but it was only 50 cents. The 3D shadow light, I got two of these and two of the Dymos things, two of these guys. Actually, it's not even in there. I bought an empty box. This one is in there, like I could feel it, like I could hear it. All right, so here is the, what that thing looks like. Some type of stamps. Looks like you could just make your own stamps. Like there's some bootleg, it seems like so illegal, but I know it's not for what I'm thinking. Like I'm thinking like someone could just make fake postage stamps, but it's just so you can make like a little label. I'm guessing this thing goes for like 10 bucks. I buy 20 of like the off-brand labels, like a 20 pack. If you buy like the name brand of Dymo, 
It's so expensive. I'm gonna guess this is like 10 bucks for this refill pack. I'm not trying to rush through everything. I'm trying to show you guys why I bought some stuff. This is an electric mosquito lamp. Hopefully it works because there are like a couple mosquitoes in my house. I have no clue how to get rid of them. I've tried all these different methods online. Wow, this thing is a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. It looks like it was probably like $10 at one point and now I'm gonna try it at my house. We have this bootleg ass transformers and it has like some Japanese writing on the back. But I was like, why is most of it in like English? And then this part is in Japanese. But yeah, I got it because it was 50 cents and I figured some kid would want it. Here is the only item that I did look up like while I was at the store is the Toy Box Takeover. And I saw them going for 10 to $15. So I was like, hey, 50 cents in the 10 bucks, I'll take it. I bought these for myself because there's a door in my house that just opens and closes by itself and I'm like, sometimes I just wanna keep it open. So I got a door stop and there's four of them. So if I ever need more, there's more. Next we have the VTech Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and there's another one of those 3D lights. We have some ink cartridges. I gotta look that up. Some of these troll eggs. I have no clue guys. I was just like grabbing stuff. I was like, oh, that looks like it has potential to be expensive. This is a bootleg off-white chain. I think there's two of these. I saw them and I was like, people on my Instagram always want like all this fake stuff. They don't care if it's real or not. All right, next we have this Disney baby Mickey Mouse one year birthday banner for the wall. Still gotta look this up as well. I'm gonna guess it goes for like 10 to 15 bucks. I just know that anything Disney and baby related is expensive. I got these for myself for my new house because I needed something for the bathroom. It's just a garbage can. And there was two of them in this little set. So I figured that'd be perfect. One's for the bathroom, one will just be for my room. When I'm like printing out shipping labels and you have all those little scraps around, boom, just throw them in here and then throw them into the big dumpster when you're done. There's some stuff that I just buy and I'm like, why did I buy this? I don't even know why I bought this. It was just brand new. That's probably why I bought it. I don't even know how to say that. It looks like it's German. There is this Go Power thing, uh, Zoo Typhoon, three games in one, and it's sealed on the PC. I don't know, maybe it's worth like 10 bucks. There is this tape, this necklace. Dude, I was buying random stuff, I told you guys. I was like, there's another one of those things that goes for 10 bucks. We have a Pink Floyd sealed from 1994. We have this watermelon slicer, dude. You guys are like, what did you buy, Connor? I just bought a ton of random stuff. We have seeds to grow in the backyard. I was being very adventurous on this pick. There is this thing I need to open up. I have no clue what it is. Another off-white bootleg chain. The Smurfs 2 on Wii, brand new sealed. We have another thing of ink. We have Discovery Channel Weapon Masters. The last thing is an iPad case. And I'm pretty sure, let me open this thing up. Pretty sure this is like the actual Apple brand, so that will be decent money. Yeah, this is Apple brand. You could sell on the bottom and on the back. Looks nice. iPad smart cover. I'm gonna guess this thing goes for like 15, 20 bucks, but it might be more, I'm not positive. I'm going to say it was a success for $12 because there are multiple things in here. I'm gonna look some stuff up off camera, then I'm gonna come back on camera and tell you guys if there is anything that was like a super big loss or a super big W, but there's nothing that's like a super big loss because I only paid 12 bucks for everything that I showed you guys. There was a lot of weird stuff like candy cane band-aids. There are seeds for growing stuff. There was like some random tape. There's also this thing I didn't even look up yet. Let me open it up. Maybe this is a big score. I have no clue what the heck this thing is. It has these things in here, these little plugs. Looks like some type of spark plug maybe. Maybe I shouldn't even be opening it. Maybe it was like sealed and it's worth a lot of money. It looks like some type of motor. I have no clue, but I'm gonna look it up and let you guys know. I hope you guys are enjoying this type of video. I know everything is in the way and then stuff just fell down and my dog is up on the coffee table. It's just a mess in here, guys. But make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button if you guys are enjoying the video. I'm gonna go look all this stuff up and I'll let you guys know if we scored on anything. All right, so it's actually been a couple hours since I last filmed. I did a bunch of research. Obviously, I'm not gonna resell these, but got these for my house. One's for the 
room and then one's for the bathroom. Then we have the Dymo. This was, ended up being $10 plus shipping. Again, probably like seven to $10 for the Smurfs 2 Wii game. This was going for like 15 to 20 bucks, but then I saw some for like 40, so I'm not sure. It's like a Go Power adapter. It's for like RVs and solar stuff. This thing is like partially sealed. It got ripped. This was going for like 15, 20 bucks, but again, two for a dollar on all this stuff. This was another surprise. This Brady, I think it's like some type of tape. It goes for 15 to 20 bucks. Fast rack, Lionel. It's like sealed, but it's also got like really damaged. So I'm gonna probably sell it for like 15 bucks. Everyone was charging 15 to $30 on eBay. Maybe I'll even just charge 10, cause I got it for 50 cents. And it feels like it weighs maybe like 10 ounces, so it only costs like four or five bucks to ship. Probably one of the biggest surprises because I was like, oh, this is like super fake. And it actually was going for like 20 to 30 bucks on eBay. 50 cents, easy money. There was not too many of these complete like in the box. So I think I'm gonna put it up for like 20 bucks and put or best offer because it was complete. It had all the discs. I saw people charging like $10 for just the discs without the big box. So maybe like people threw away this box. I don't know, it's 50 cents. These were a big surprise to me because I found a couple of these last week and they were going for like 20 bucks a pop. And this one was just not a good brand, I guess, because they only go for $10 plus shipping. But still, 50 cents, I paid 50 cents for these two um, like weed whacker spindles. 50 cents into $10, I can't complain. Smart cover for the iPad second generation and third generation. Dad, do you need this? Oh, okay, my dad already has one, Never mind. But, you can sell this for like 10, 15 bucks. I was surprised, I thought it would go for more actually. And then this thing was some type of module for a cooler thing. I have no clue how to describe it to you guys, but I'll show you guys a screenshot of what I think it is. And I saw some going for 15 bucks up to 100. And the last item that we found at 50 cent day that was a huge surprise to me was this Zoo Tycoon, the complete collection. And this game goes anywhere from 50 to 70 bucks. I'm gonna say 60 bucks because it's in pretty good condition. As in, there's no like rips or dings on it. It is honestly a huge surprise to me that it goes for that much money. I was, I think in the video, I was like, oh, this is probably like a $15 game. But $60 for this game sealed, I'm guessing because it's rare, like there weren't that many copies made but it's also a surprisingly fun game if you guys have not played any of the Zoo Tycoon games. So make sure you guys go check out the place off the truck liquidations if you guys are in Margate. It was an awesome adventure today. I only paid 12 bucks for everything that you guys saw. I think it was ended up being like $12.57 and it was two for a dollar, but he cut me a deal and he saw my big bag of stuff and he's like, oh, this guy's buying a lot of stuff. And I don't know how he came up with $12, but I really appreciate you for giving me the good deal. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button if you guys are watching this video and you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys want more videos like this, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you guys leave some suggestions for videos in the comments down below. Make sure you guys subscribe if you guys are not subscribed. I thank you guys so much for supporting me and watching my videos. I hope you guys have a nice day. Peace out guys, bye bye.